Of course, of course, have to start the video with the shot of this beautiful engine bay back here in the in the lair, the old Eric's garage, just uh, on the the next project. So um, I know last last video we were on the dyno, whatever, blah blah. blah but I'm not sure if you guys remember. Um, I was getting some stuff done to the interior. So, so far, uh, my good buddy at RFS Motorsports went ahead and, oh, sneak peek right there, went ahead and got the side panels done. He's working on the seats right now, but I'm here at Eric's. We're going to install them, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how they came out. Woo! Oh, yeah. Something that I've always wanted on my E46 M3, a Molo red interior. My buddy got it straight OEM from, uh, from BMW. Scandinavian leather. So, it's going to go real nice with all the red accents that I have here sparkles we're gonna go ahead and just keep them every now and then for race days stuff like that but for the most part time to go back to comfort eric's over here just scoping comfort. scoping this out comfort that's right oh yeah so it looks great with the carbon fiber gonna see what's up go from there touch base about a couple other things and then see what's up so it's going down all right moving along here got this quarter panel just chilling Eric's working on this one over here in the zone. Gonna go ahead and get these bad boys installed. We're, um, we're putting the drawers on right now. Stickers are ready to go because the last one I put on came out kind of crooked and crinkly and stuff. So Eric put it on good and uh, yeah, let's go from there. So it's going down. Finished product, finished product. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this. Oh snap. The carbon fibre. You got the RTD shifter. You got the keys. And then you got the Mola. Woo! It's looking good, baby. And not just that. Wait for what else we have coming right here. It's going down. It's going to be blood. Bloody massacre. Red everywhere. Yeah. It's going down, guys. Looking good. The vision, the vision's coming together. That's what it's all about, guys. Might not happen overnight, but hey, stuff's a process. Oh yeah. Gonna install the next one right now and then I'll go from there. So let's do it. You. It's a thing of beauty. So popping. Big shout out to RFS. Thanks again. It came out amazing, guys. Beautiful. Beautiful. You see? Nice and fresh. Man, those seats are going to look epic in there. Oh, man. I love my sparkles. Don't get me wrong, but it's going to be nice having that nice OEM interior again. Oh, this came out really awesome. So we just got x rays. He has a lot. Woo! He has a lot. Alright guys, <clears throat> pretty much wrapping up the day here. Got the interior all done and buttoned up. Eric went ahead and installed it. Looks beautiful with everything else here. So super excited. Thank God uh you know everything looks up to par and very nice. Oh yeah. But alright then guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks again for watching. Oh yeah, came out really nice. All right, that's it. Door panels are in, buttoned up, ready to go. Again, big shout out to RFS, RFS Motorsports for helping me out with that quality. Carbon, fi carbon fibre everywhere. Oh, yeah. But I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate you. Like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Next video is going to be good, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Good morning, good morning. Back here with the wolf. What do we got here? I don't even know. What is this thing, dude? <laughs> 2000 Monte Carlo SS. Oh, a 2000 Monte Carlo SS 3800 series number two. We're, we're back here at Eric's house, just chilling. Today is actually a special day. We got the Lexus here, irrelevant to the Lexus, but we're picking up the M3. It's going down. 
pretty excited just got here just chit chatting with eric about some things but other than that going to go uh it's actually at a friend's house <coughs> slash shop gonna go over there and uh pick it up get some other things done and uh go from there so let's get it done and take her home oh all right bmw's everywhere Oh yeah. Hi yo. All right. About to just do a couple more things and then take her home. It's about that time, guys. Let's get it. All right. Here, what do we got here? The Downstar products. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and check these out here. The guys at Downstar went ahead and hooked me up with a full titanium burnt yeah. kit. So we're going to go ahead and throw these on right now. Big shout out to you guys. As you can see, the quality is really, really nice. Should be cool. Right. Let's do it. I'm on the motherfucker. And wait for the wolf who should be coming directly. I'm with some wolf. I solve problems. All right, guys, moving along. Eric just installed the first couple ones, and they are looking awesome. Looking really cool. Have the rest right here. Nice. I went with the burnt titanium, of course, just because I have burnt titanium, my dump tube, and this here. So everything should look pretty cool. Shout out to Downstar again for taking care of me. Thanks again, guys. Working on the struts. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, moving along. Moving on the other side. Got these in. These in. Oh yeah. These nuts. Looking good. These nuts. <laughs> oh. All right, pretty much all wrapped up. Got the Downstar hardware in there. Came out really, really nice. Oh yeah, that burnt titanium. Also put the new ngr filter just to make sure to get the proper blockage there the turbo guard was a little bit had the holes were a little bit big but everything came out really nice ready to go oh yeah all right all right guys little uh here let me roll up the window little little loud in my cabin here but we are officially in the M3, baby! Woo! So, I'm uh, about to exit uh, my house, uh, the exit from my house. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I'm freaking nervous, you know? Um, this is the first official drive with the Cyvex, the turbo kit, everything, and uh, these these drives can be nerve-wracking because you never know what's gonna happen, you know? So far, the car's been doing good. Uh, I was thinking about doing a little pool um, on the way over here, but the cars I, i'm not sure if it's me being paranoid but it feels a little like sluggish so what i'm gonna do is once i get closer to my house i'm gonna do a little one and then kind of go from there and then see what happens so we're about to exit and go from there guys but woo, feels good to be back in the baby we're back baby let's get it all right haven't seen this view for a while the m3 is back home guys it was a interesting drive when I mean interesting, um, as you guys saw, 
I said that it felt like it was like cutting power or something. It wasn't really that, but um, it seems like it, it hits. So I'm driving and then let's say I, I start um, putting gas in it and kind of start getting the turbo spooling. It seems like it will kind of hit a limiter, but it's only doing it every now and then. Um, like I said, once I got home, I turned off the car and turned it back on. And then I saw that the limiter was gone because it's like it said at like 4,500. So um, I'm going to try to get a log to my tuner tonight to, to Ian um, at, over at Ben Calibration. So I'm going to see if we can do that and then go from there. But as of now, car drives good. Everything seems good and we're ready to go. So gonna go ahead and uh get to work and uh get my laptop see what's up and then see if i can get a log or two cent maybe even tonight so time to do my end and send those logs baby let's get it good morning good morning guys right here another day with the wolf beautiful sunny day it was raining over here in socal not raining anymore we are here doing something different here with the M3 and the guys over at RFS Motorsports. Cars looking clean. But today I'm really, really excited. It's a mod that I've been wanting to do forever. We're removing these um, Sparkle QRTRs uh, and uh, we are putting in these beautiful Mola Red OEM leather front seats so you know i've been rocking the, the racing seats for a while and they're cool and everything lightweight but the mola is something i've been wanting to do for a while as you guys can see um the guys at rfs went ahead and hooked up the emola panels um not too long ago so we're switching out um the seats i'm putting in these diablo rojo so should be cool like that one huh <laughs> So it's going down. Rock, rocking the Cybex, rocking the bank calibration always. You already know. Let's get it. This guy, this guy's using a drill dough over there in the back. He's using a drill dough in the back. <laughs> All right, let's go. Woo! The mock up. Killed it. Killed it. Damn, looks awesome. Looks really, really good. About to have the other one in there. Oh yeah. Get it. All right, guys. First seat is in. Let me tell you, it feels awesome. It feels really, really nice. Very, very comfortable. As you can see, the interior it looks amazing. Can't thank RFS enough for the amazing job. It's going down, guys. Let's go. Yeah. Hold the slider. Button, All right, gotcha, second gotcha. seat going in right now. Just a little mock-up, little teaser. El Lobo Rojo, El Diablo Rojo. Oh yeah. Woo! Going down, baby. Go. All right, guys. Final product. Seats are in came out amazing as you can see got the molar red in here from the side panels of the carbon right here all the way oh man this is just a thing of beauty thing thing of beauty Woo! come on awesome. 